and gentlemen, love is beautiful. Every single week I sit down with different couples to find out what issues they need decoded in their relationship or their marriage. But today, we're doing it a little bit different. Eh? I'm joined by a special guest. And this special guest, I love her. Hey, kumpenda nampenda. <laughs> so welcome to Decoded. Welcome to Decoded. Today, I'm being joined by my lovely, beautiful, amazing wife, Angela. How are you doing, honey? I'm good. Okay. Blessed to be here. Blessed to be here. You're uh -huh. looking really beautiful. I look at you head to toe, man. Oh, okay. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You're making me blush. You, you, you look lovely, honey. You look <laughs> lovely, thank honey. You. Wow. And so today, you know what? Every single episode, I ask you people, like I ask you viewers, you know, what questions do you want me to answer? One of the most frequently asked questions is, what is love? How do I know that someone loves me? So you have been asking a lot what love is. And so today we are going to decode what love is. We are going to decode what love is. And we're going to do that by, first of all, looking at what love is and what love is not. Mm -hmm. So darling, uh -huh. oof, <laughs> love is not an experiment. Love is not an experiment. Love is not it's an not experiment. It's not a try. Try X thing. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta be all in or all out. All in or all out. Mm -hmm. You know. No trying. No, no trying. trying. No, oh, let's see how this thing goes. goes yeah. You know. I'm not too sure about it. You know, yeah, like. I'm not too sure, but we can see. Yeah. We can vibe and see how it goes. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and and you know, there's some moments. In, in fact, viewers, some people who come and seek counseling, and then they're with somebody who told them from the very beginning, "I'm not ready I'm not for ready. an experiment." Mm -hmm. And so, how does somebody who says that I'm not ready for experiment actually give you the love that you want? They can't. They can't. It's they all can't. backfire. It's backfire. When someone tells you they're not ready, hear Believe them. them. Yeah. Believe them, yes. <laughs> yes, exactly, exactly. Yeah. And what about this thing about road test that we sometimes hear people say? Lord, road testing, nah. Mm. Yeah. No road testing, man. Yeah. We're either exclusive or... <laughs> either exclusive or not, nothing, yes. you know? Yeah. Yes. So a human being is not somebody that you test, you know, let's let's see how this thing plays out, you know what, I'm not sure about this, so mm -hmm. let's let's try and see how things are going to pan out come a few months, a few years, no, no, no. Love is not an experiment. Do not no. play games with somebody's heart. Either you are 100% in or you are 100% out. That is the only way you're actually going to reap the benefits of love and of a relationship. So love is not an experiment. It is not. Hey, what is the next thing, darling, that love is not? Love is not a public show. Oof. Yeah, mm -hmm. love is not for everybody. Mm -hmm. Love is not, you know, it's... Yeah. <laughs> we've seen all those couples on social media, you yes. know, you post something just to, to make your ex feel a certain a soul. <laughs> yeah, imagine, imagine. Yeah. So you're, you're actually putting up a show for people. Yeah. You're dating somebody so that other people can be like, oh, so you're in a relationship, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. and, and you're quite, you're, you're quite focused on what people are going to what say about your relationship and, say, yeah. and your marriage. Yeah. And so you're not supposed to be doing love as a public show. No. You know? Just because everybody's getting married, that doesn't mean that also you join uh, the camp, you know? Because you're not doing it to fit into Don't a public in. situation, yeah. you know? Don't, Don't bow, bow in. to societal exactly. expectations. Exactly. <laughs> and honey, have you, have you had those instances whereby some people stay in a relationship or a marriage that is not working for them simply because they are afraid that, oh, what will the public think in case this thing ends? Yeah, what will the public think? Yes. You know, I've already posted. <laughs> oh, I've already posted this person that we engaged yes. or whatever. Yes. And so you stay in it. Yes. Just because you fear the backlash or you fear the ridicule. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Imagine that. Imagine that. It's not that. for public show. It's not for public show. It's not if for public show. It ain't show. working, it ain't. It ain't working. And yeah. you are the only one who's inside there. You are the, the only, only one, one who, knows. who knows where the shoe pinch is. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, ladies and gentlemen, you are the only one who knows whether this is love or not. Don't do it for public show. Mm -hmm. Don't do it to entertain people no. you know what if you're going to be in a relationship do not even care what the public is going to think yes. about it you know who you're with you know why you're there and if you're in a wrong situation or you're in a bad marriage bad relationship for the sake of the public ask yourself why so the public is clapping for you but are you happy 
So love is not a public show. The third thing that love is not, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, <laughs> love is not a revenge mission. It is not. Oh, rebounds, no. darling, rebounds. Rebounds. Uh -huh. All day, every day, we hear of them, huh? <laughs> yes, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, re rebounds, are, you know, so rebounds are when somebody jumps into a new relationship. Just without be, healing. Without healing. Yeah. Without healing. And usually just because you're trying to get back at your ex, eh? so you dumped me, eh? I'm going to show you that I can hook up with somebody hotter than you, richer than you, flyer than you, mm -hmm. most famous than you. Mm -hmm. What's that? Yeah, what's that for? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, and, and it doesn't work out, does it? It doesn't. It doesn't work out. It doesn't. It doesn't. No. Because from the very beginning, you're actually doing it for the wrong reasons. Wrong reasons. Yeah. And Im imagine trying to make your ex jealous, and then your ex is, is not even paying attention. They're not even bothered. <laughs> they moved on. <laughs> yeah. 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 So love is not a revenge mission. And, and it really hurts the person you're with if, if you're in there for wrong reasons. Oh, yeah. You're, you know they're your rebound yes but they are really like serious about you and a hundred percent in oh yeah oh yeah hurt yes. people hurt people hurt people hurt people yeah i, I love that heal point. first yes heal before first. you heal you first. jump into something because somebody could you're hurting an innocent person you are so here you are your own a revenge mission to prove a point to your ex but then mm -hmm. the person you're in a relationship with is actually genuine they are there because yes, they really want to love you love you yeah yeah, yeah. So it's not fair. It's not fair. It's not fair. Love is not a revenge mission. Yeah. Uh, do you do you want to tell us number four, darling? Yes. Ooh. This one. Mm -hmm. Love is not abusive. Mm. <sighs> yeah. Love is not abusive. Love is not abusive. It is not. Mm -hmm. If you're being physically abused, if you're being mentally abused, financially, oh, yeah. emotionally, oh, yeah. physically. Oh, yeah. Did I say that you one? Did, you did say yeah. physically. Yeah. It's not. It's not love. And you mentioned a very important point because many times people think that abuse is just physical. Yes. Yeah. People think that abuse is just when somebody hits you, slaps you, or but there are other forms of abuse that actually yeah. you've mentioned, you know? Yeah, mental yeah. abuse when mm -hmm. someone's constantly calling you names, constantly putting you down, Imagine constantly that. comparing you to other women or other men. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then financial abuse, they're trying to strangle you. You know, financially, they're making sure you don't Too have... Too fair, then they eat the fair. Ima <laughs> <laughs> they eat the fair. Too much fair, and then they, they eat it, yes. you know? And they try to uh, to, to cripple or you financially. Take, take, take. Yeah, take, 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 mm -hmm. you know? That's financially abusive, yeah. you know? And even, sometimes it can actually be social abuse, mm. where they choke your social life. They do. Mm -hmm. Imagine that. Yeah. They isolate you. Can, you can have friends. Mm -hmm. Very dangerous. You can have friends, and some even go to the point of, they cut you off from your own family. They do, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. 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 well, don't talk to your mama, don't talk to your dad, no. don't talk to your siblings. They see everybody as a threat, as a threat, as a threat to them. Imagine yeah. that. So that is not love. That is not love. The unfortunate thing, ladies and gentlemen, is sometimes you can be so used to staying in abuse that actually you don't know that you're in the wrong environment. Mm. Love is not abusive. Somebody who says they love you is not going to beat you up. And if you're in that kind of a situation whereby you're with friends who are telling you, you know what, when someone, when your partner is misbehaving, give them a slap or intimidate them or do something or try to manipulate them, yeah. that is wrong. Love is not abusive. Yeah, and baby, what about those people who buy into the lie that when someone beats you up or yes. something, that that's their way of showing you love? <sighs> that is wrong. That it, is wrong. It, it's so wrong. It's wrong. It's so wrong. Because Who's love does. peddling that lie? It, 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 yeah. Sometimes actually. <laughs> we need to drive them out of town. Exactly, exactly. And sometimes it's because <laughs> mm. when you're hurt, to justify why you're in a hard place, you spread this kind of lies, yeah. you know? Yeah. So be, because you're in, a, in an abusive relationship, now you make a pass for people who are also in abusive relationships. Yeah. Failing to realize you're not where you're supposed to be. No. So it is not healthy. Any relationship that is not leading to your health is not good for you. Yes. Love is not abusive. It's Let's not. end abusive relationships. Let's turn around the situation. Yeah. Now. The fifth thing that love is not. <laughs> love is not selfish. It is not. Can I repeat that again? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> love is not selfish. It is not. Yeah. yeah. It's not self-centered. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's not just about one person. Yeah, it's not just about you. Not just about you. You're in this with somebody else. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Have them in mind. Have them in mind, <laughs> yeah. yes. Be thoughtful mm. and considerate about their feelings. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. So for some people in a relationship or their marriage, it's all about it's them. It's all about them. Yes. Yeah. Is the other person to give? 
Yeah, you know? you're constantly giving. Yeah. And the other person is depleted. Yes, yeah. yes. Imagine, imagine. And, 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 and it's such a shame, and especially when you're in a relationship whereby you feel like you're the only one who is yeah. really pulling the relationship. Yeah. You know, it's the other person is not pulling the end of, of the weight. It's mm. just you putting in the work. You don't feel like it is mutual. You feel like this person doesn't even care about your feelings. No. Yeah. 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 All one-sided. Yes. You're the one looking for fun things to do. Mm -hmm. You're the one who's making dates. Yes. You're the one who's apologizing. Yeah. You know, it's just one-sided. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 yeah. And it's interesting. The other that person does not have any accountability. Which is unfortunate. Which is unfortunate. Very unfortunate. And 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 uh, you as a wife, I need to ask this, darling. Mm -hmm. Should wives take their husbands out on dates or is it of course they should. they should right of course they should uh -huh. yeah why they surprise your husband you know yes, yes. and be like honey i've already booked the place mm. we're going yes uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> or even if you know money doesn't have to be involved yes you can always just prepare something something nice at home put a flower you know pick a flower from the garden and put it in the middle of the table and voila you have your romantic time together exactly exactly yeah. so very good point eh? so love is not selfish don't mm -hmm. always be complaining my spouse is not doing this my spouse is not doing this or yeah. wanting your spouse to do things for you ask yourself what are you also doing for your spouse for your partner mm. what value are you adding into your relationship or your marriage yes. do not have double standards you want your partner to be the one to say i'm sorry you don't say i'm sorry you want your partner to be the one who appreciates you don't appreciate you want your partner to be the one who communicates you don't communicate please love is not selfish yes. well we have been looking at what love is not now after the break when you come back my wife and i will go through the five things that love is now that love is not this let's see what love is stay tuned to decoded